Okay, in this example, we're going to uh, show how we would create this kind of a profile um, here of a part and then to cut a little bit of a groove into the side there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off here by uh, drawing this little profile of, of, this, uh, of this box. And we know that it's four by one and a half inches. So I'm going to come here and draw a little square corner rectangle that is... 1.5 wide by 4 inches tall and that kind of is going to represent my profile now I need to come here I have my endpoint snaps on use cut by line and I'm just going to cut these these two corners and get rid of that part now uh, this has a radius on this or part has a radius on it so uh, if this is a one and a half inch radius then let's give this a one inch radius so we're going to go to the fillet tool do that one corner give this little preview there so um, we can actually see now this radius and this is going to be you know if we're going to use tools to cut this at our 2d tool paths then I'm going to make sure that this radius matches whatever the actual radius is of the tools that are purchased so if this is a one inch tool or 1.25 or whatever the case is then that's going to be a uh, what you want to make the profile that you're going to draw so basically what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to draw whatever this cut is and then we're going to offset it from it and then follow that offset line so um, now uh, I would probably draw my shape next of, of what I'm going to cut here and this this is a little radius here so I can't have sharp corners it's going to have at least a small radius I'm not really sure what size that is so I would just come here to the this tool I'm going to do radius and I don't know maybe we'll say 0.75 for the corners and for this particular shape I'm drawing is 24 by 24 I'm going to center it by hitting control 5 from the number pad alright so now I've I've got my part here to kind of help me represent things actually you know what I'm going to uh, I'm going to put a little bigger radius on there because I think that that looks like it has a bigger radius so let's come here and make this one inch all corners See, we're gonna increase these and now we have a one inch radius on each corner I mean it could even be bigger I can't really tell but this looks like a good one to start with all right let's make sure there's no extra points and do a little cleanup and uh, no no points were deleted so um, we can take a look at our part and see that's what it looks like Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is, is create the offset, which is going to represent the toolpath actually we're drawing. And uh, let's take this part. Let's go to the offset tool. And I'm going to say inline here. I want it to go to the inside. And I have to decide how much I want it, how much do I want that to go into the material. Um, you know, uh, it's kind of hard to tell by looking at this, but it doesn't look super deep there. So we're going to say, we're going to use a quarter inch tool and go 0.2 inches into the part. That'll be our, our example. So we'll say 0.2 is the offset amount. All right, so we can see here if this represents the surface of the edge of the part and this green line here, which is now black, that's going to represent our tool path. And all we're going to do is we're going to have a, a long tool. So let's say something that's uh, 0.25 by 4 sharp corners all right so let's uh, let's move this here so this to this is actually just going to be a tool path and now this this tool is just going to follow along this path and and plunge down to the bottom there that is the that is the idea let's see going in the middle part there so uh, what we're going to do now is is take this one that was just for a little representation there and uh, let's make a copy of it by hitting control and just dragging it over here now if I want to start off by making one that's facing the other way so I'm going to come here and mirror this part alright so now I see that I have uh, I have my part uh, 
uh, facing the correct direction. Now I'm going to hit F2 for precision input center. This bottom part here is the x-axis, so I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees along the x-axis, which we'll is flip this part down. Right? And I can see it here from the side. Now, um, if, if this is my outer border and my profile thickness is one and a half inches, then I can come here and put a little 1.5 inch inline. That's going to represent the inner part of, of this uh, part here the inside part here and so now I can actually take this part and I can move it uh, this is the rotated part I'm going to uh, choose my move command I already have snapped the endpoint check I'm going to move that endpoint to that endpoint and so we can see here um, from the top view and here's the side view we've just created a toolpath and this bit is now going to follow follow this tool now It's actually going to be the center line of the toolpath, so we would have to probably decide uh, if we want this to, yeah, if we want the center of the tool, then yeah, it'll be using most of that tool, it'll just be plunging down, so that, that should uh, be a good thing to try, and you know, it's possible that might need to be modified, but I think that would be uh, what we would expect to see there. Okay, now let's come back up here need to put this in each of those corners but before that we have to think about something um, the bit is going to be a quarter inch bit and if I cut along the center of this line I'm going to be cutting into this part but I believe actually we want to cut along the edge of this because if you look at this design here you'll see that it is going along the edge now maybe that is a half inch there um, but this could be done with whatever size tool. Whatever the size tool is, I'm going to come here and I'm going to move this half the diameter of this bit. So I can just come here and use snap to center of arc since I drew this little circle there. Let's first of all move this arc to uh, the center of this part. Oh. All right, so uh, I think probably that's not the easiest way to do it then. Uh, what we're going to do is come here and go to the Move tool, and we're going to move it in the positive Y direction uh, using uh, Move Relative 0.125. All right, so we've moved that one over there. So this is going to accommodate for the diameter of the tool, and if we, if we again have that tool that's a... A uh, quarter inch end mill then it's going to cut right along this groove and uh, if I was using a 3 8 then I'd need to move over 0.1875 if I'm using a half inch tool then we need to move over 0.25 now that we have this one here we can easily go to and let's just make sure that we're in the right z-axis position which we are if we hit F2 and uh, look at where the bottom is it's at minus 0.4 inches so that's that's correct now to easily get this into each of the corners, we're going to use our mirror tool. All right, so we're going to uh, mirror by line, but first we're going to hit make a copy. All right, we have endpoint and uh, midpoint check uh, snap check, so I should be able to come here and click on the end of one, the midpoint of the other, and create a duplicate. Now I'll take this one, make sure copies checked and use the middle of this line. Select both of these now. And now we've uh, pretty easily put those tool paths in the corner of each of the parts. And uh, you didn't, you don't need really at this point the, uh, uh, the outer one. The inner one is the tool path. So each side's going to have a couple of these. All right, so now we've got just the uh, geometries that represent the the tool paths. So this is uh, this is how I'd go about doing uh, that particular corner. 
Now, of course, if you're doing it as a 3D file, you still probably need to draw a straight line where you want this uh, tool to follow and just do a, a carve into the surface. But I think this would be a lot more efficient and fast and doesn't require much 3D capability.